All right, what's going on everyone? So as always, gotta get gas. Um, I really didn't need too much, I just topped it off. Uh, today's video is gonna be, um, I don't even know, to be honest with you, I, I have no idea. I, I started this day out a little bit later than normal. Um, I wanted to get out early on the bike, I, I didn't. And there's a lot going through my head right now, and I just, just, I just kind of just want to, I don't know, not so much vent, but kind of just give you guys a, a quick little thing that I've been kind of tossed around the idea of. Um, I know I'm going to regret it. I, I know 100% I'm going to regret it, but when I explain, uh, maybe some of you guys will understand. This wire always sticks out. Maybe some of you don't. Um, I, I don't know. I, I, I guess. I guess we'll just have to start the video. I'll start talking. So um, I don't know where I'm going. I have no idea. Uh, I may just go to a quick little spot and just kind of just chill, and then go over exactly what I'm what I'm gonna be talking about, or just talk about what I'm gonna be the topic. I really didn't like want to make this video, but I woke up today and my brain was telling me otherwise. I don't know why. So without further ado, let's ride out. Two hours later. Oh my god, that was a long ass ride. Let me tell you guys where I am in a second. Can I get ten dollars on uh six please? Ten dollars on what? On six. Thank you. All right. So where am I? Lake Tahoe, 61 miles from where I currently sit right now. So I don't know what sparked this, but I decided to head up north this time because it is a lot warmer out right now. So I want to head up north and see um, how I, I guess, how I feel. Um, after riding, I don't know, 100 some odd miles. Let me tell you, this shit sucks. My ass hurts. Pause. My hands all tingly. So I'll update you guys in a quick second. I'm going to look on uh, GPS to see if 49 is even worth going down or should I go up any further or where to go in this area. <laughs> I have an idea of where um, I do want to go. It's not much further up the road. So this is actually the first time I've actually rode all the way out here. Um, I wanted to do it last year. I don't know why I didn't. It's actually not that bad outside either. I thought it was going to be a little bit colder up here. It's actually colder in San Francisco. I've been up here before, um, so I kind of know these roads. Normally whenever I came up here, it was actually the winter. It wasn't actually warm out, so a lot of this was either rain or a little bit further up the road. It does turn to ice and snow, so not the best riding conditions. Oh man, I didn't think I, I like, I don't know what happened to me this morning, but my brain is just, it's flipped a complete switch. It did a 180 on me. So today I actually wanted to uh, practice stunt riding. I was all hopped up to do it. Uh, got my energy drink up in me, got my, you know, my monster. Uh, loaded the bike up and then kind of just chilled with the dog, played with him for a little bit. And I don't know what happened, but something like switched in my brain and I lost motivation like all motivation like I don't I don't even want the bike anymore and I have no idea why all of a sudden that happened because I was I'm like so hyped to learn how to, to wheelie and do all these tricks and I hit this mental barrier and I think the, the, the big problem is I see all these other guys and girls, can't forget the ladies too, and they're like absolutely killing it. Like, wheelies like nothing, they'll wheelie anything. Doesn't matter what it is. If it has wheels, they'll wheelie it. And they make it look so easy, and then I go out there and barely get the front, front wheel up. And I know it's a learning process. Everybody starts there um, at that point sooner or later. Not sooner or later, but they all they all have a starting point. You know, not they, they didn't know what they were doing at that point. But they also hung around a lot of people that stunt ride. I don't know anyone that stunt rides. I barely know people that ride motorcycles. 
the people that do ride motorcycles, they don't ride as much as I do. So it, it kind of, that's another mental barrier. I gotta, I gotta climb over. Like I gotta get over that mental barrier. Because doing it alone, like it's, I can do it. I, I, I know I can do it. But it's, I feel more comfortable with other people like around me that have been doing it for years. So I, I don't know what happened, but my brain is just like, just sell the bike, dude. You're not gonna do it. You're not gonna do it. And I legit laid in bed today for like an hour, just staring at the ceiling, thinking, trying to trying to get that that energy to get up and just say, you know what? Do it. Just go out and just do it. Even if you fucking practice for 30 minutes. Then I was thinking, well, if you only practice for 30 minutes, look how long it's going to take you. The past six months I had to learn a wheelie. And a total of 30 minutes I've been practicing. And that's just like a big kick in a motivational dick. Then I start getting even more upset. Because then it's just like you're thinking, okay, you, you were so hyped to learn how to do this. What changed? What is stopping you? Alright, my exit's coming up somewhere. I should have stopped here. I don't know if that's my exit or not. I think it might be. Pretty sure that was the exit. Nope, I lied. Exit's in one mile. This is my first time on this road, so go ahead, get mad at me for not going as fast as I could. Oh, this is so nice through here. Honestly, this is the type of living that I want to do. I want to live in the forest. I love, I love trees, like with the trees lined in the streets. I mean, granted, you know, you don't really have much land. I actually found out about this place um, through one of my friends who we're trying to shoot one of my cars. Well, the only car that runs. He posted pictures uh, a while back. It was still winter. And he said it was kind of like icy and snowy up here. I mean, it just sucks is because now with the quarantine kind of going into phase two, there's gonna be a lot more cars on the road. Well, you, you gotta slow down, dude. You can't speed up. Park entrance, 500 feet. Have to pay? I have to pay to get in? Uh, yeah. Oh my goodness. Alright, never mind. Oh, okay. Never mind. Okay, sorry. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> Park's open, but we're going to charge you $20 to get in. $20? Are you serious? That's ridiculous yo it's so stupid how much you have to pay just to go sightsee okay we're gonna go down this road to see if maybe we can get in somewhere for free hell yeah I'm gonna park my happy ass right here Damn, you can't deny that view though. Holy shit. God, it's almost 6 o'clock. I'm gonna have to head home soon already. Jenkinson Lake. That's what this is. Whoa, if I go further up this road, there's a place called Tragedy Spring. I don't know if I want to go there. Alright, I'm gonna shut you guys down real quick. I'm gonna sit. Even though I've been sitting for the past two and a half hours. Let me get you guys a, another view real quick. I hope the camera picks up the, uh, like, Tahoe area. The mountains, the ice, the snow, the glacier, whatever that fucking thing is. Mountain. That's what it is. Good to go. Uh, is this stop sign for me? Oh, yeah, I guess it is. It's a toss up of what I want to actually do with the bike. With me going away for a 
few months and everything like I'm not gonna lie it keeps crossing my mind and it's not for like the money it's just the, the, the whole timing of everything so I don't know I, I really just this video is probably gonna be really quick um, I really just want to get on a bike and get out and try to try to clear my head up you know what's crazy right now is in my brain right now like in my head all I want to do is hop on the stump bike and practice. That's all I want to do. The minute I get home and I go to hop in my truck, I don't want to do it anymore. I don't know why. It's just my brain is, is shutting that motivation off. And I'm wondering if, now bear with me guys, I know. I know I'm buying a lot of, a lot of vehicles. But I'm wondering if I should just pick up a Grom. Like a beater Grom. Small bike, not a lot of power, not a lot of height to it. Uh, such a long ride home. This is the worst part. Oh uh, yeah, America. <coughs> Red light, green light, one, two, three. Did you guys ever play that game when you were younger? San Francisco, 131 miles. Holy sh! Ah, uh, tis the season. Shout out to you guys. Well, I think this is where we're gonna go ahead and end today's video. Again, it was just a quick little ride. Well, it actually wasn't a quick ride. Um, keep on the lookout for any other videos or anything like that that I may or may not be talking about this stuff. But if you guys did happen to like the video, go ahead and give it a big old fat thumbs up. If you guys made it to the end, you guys are the real MVPs. And as always, if you guys and girls are new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell so you guys are aware of when I upload a new video. If y'all in the cars, make sure you guys go over to my second channel. All that stuff is all car related. But I need each and every single one of you guys to stay humble, stay humble, stay motivated in all of your life goals. Always remember success never comes. Eat. You guys gotta work your ass off for Boy Machine here, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Later. I swear to God, man, I'm gonna make it soon. Silence all the haters as they see us making moves. I do what I want, so I got nothing to prove. Staying motivated, teaching others what to do. I'm staying focused, my mind is open. They start to notice that I'm in motion.